Howdy, boys and girls. Um, so this is probably going to be the first episode of um my first uh, Let's Play series. Um, I've actually tried. Well, I've been recording and messing with settings and stuff for all my equipment for about the last eight hours. Um. I was trying to get it so that the first episode, uh, those cows are kind of loud right now, um, but the first episode was one where we started on the server together. Well, after recording that one, it didn't work, um, and after about four more attempts, it's. I think I might have the settings now to the point where this one can stay. Um, so this is where I spawned. Um, I guess first I should say we are in Snapchat or Snap Snapshot. Sorry, Snapshot um, 13w41a, and that for those of you who don't know, that is for 1.7. Um, it is the most recent one that Mojang has put out for. 1.7 and so I decided I was going to wait until they actually officially released it but I got a little antsy and so I just decided to go with the snap uh, snapshot um, that being said I haven't played a whole lot of vanilla minecraft since 1.3 um, I've been off on a different mod packs um, and on the mod packs I played 1.4 and 1.5 haven't done a whole lot of 1.6 I did mess around with it for a little while but not a whole lot to really get familiar with anything so I am I'm really excited to be back into vanilla and to see all the new features um, I have played Minecraft for, uh, I don't know, about two years now, and I I love the game. Um, growing up, I was a big LEGO fan, and now to have a digital world full of, um, if we could call them LEGO blocks, at my disposal to build with, I, I just love the concept of this game. So hopefully, we can see some big things um, being done on... Uh, this is a server, um, and that is for the fact that I have a couple of good friends that play Minecraft, as well as some of my family does, and I would like to play with them. Um, especially my wife. She uh, she has been really supportive of my idea of starting a Let's Play series, as well as kind of pushing me into it. Um, she thinks that I will enjoy it, and... It'll give me a little bit more uh, meaning to my builds to do it for other people. Um, I, For the last year, I have played mostly multiplayer servers. Um, I, I got kind of bored of single-player worlds because, well, when you're in a single-player world, unless you're doing a Let's Play in it, no one else can see it, there's really no... For, to me, there's not a whole lot of point in building these really cool, uh, really expansive things unless um, you let other people admire your work. And so because of that fact, I joined a mul multiplayer servers with a couple of my friends, um, but they don't find the enjoyment in building like I do, and so they tend to get a little bored of servers after a little while. Um, the first server I was on, we it was up for about a month, month and a half or so. And uh, I did quite a bit of building on that one. I, um, I built a pretty cool castle. Uh, but they got tired of that and so we then started messing around with um, Feed the Beast stuff and that was about last November. Um, got out of that, went back into vanilla for about a month, and then went back into Feed the Beast, and that's where we've stayed. For the most part, we've done a little hexit. Um, 
but we change servers almost every two weeks to a month. So, um, nothing. Mm -hmm. I was never on any one server long enough to finish any cool projects I've had. And there's one that I've been trying to build for since about November time. And so I'm hoping to do that build in this server. Um, I think it's really cool. Um, and I'll probably tell you a little bit more about that later on. Um, right now where I'm sitting is actually not that far away from where I spawned. Um, I spawned over here right underneath those vines right there in the water. That's where I spawned. And so for the immediate future what I'm doing is setting up a little shack that I can stay in and work on kind of dressing up spawn a little bit. Um, like I said, this even though it'll be my my LP, there will be some other people on, hopefully, um, that I'll be able to play with. And so I want to make a uh, fairly nice town hall, spawn mansion, whatever it is that you call them. Um, I typically just call them a town hall. Uh, but I, I'm thinking about making one a town hall right around in here somewhere. And then have spawn uh, the spawn village stretch out to the I believe this is the south yeah the south, um, and I won't build the whole village obviously I just want to get kind of lots laid out and stuff, uh, so that when I do have others come on they can build whatever they fancy and kind of put their own mark on spawn, um, but I do want to do the spawn or the town hall for the fact that. Uh, I want people when they l immediately log on to see it and, be, and think, "Oh, that that's cool. They've they've put some effort into this, so maybe it'll hopefully inspire them to put in a little bit of effort too if they ju if they come on." Um, the reason I came up here is because this is the area that spawn will stretch out to, because I really like this natural landscape that happened. Um, this is the edge of a plains biome and a birch forest biome. Um, birch forest is one of the new bi biomes introduced in 1.7. And for some reason, there is this little rendering glitch that happened during creation that caused this straight cliff line. And uh, like I said in that, in my first uh, multiplayer server I built a castle and that's because I kind of like blocky walled in structures and well I think this would be just awesome to put a wall along and so I'm hoping this will be the south border of Spawn Village um, but yeah I I just enjoy everything about this game uh, sometimes it may seem a little tedious but that quickly passes when I finally get something accomplished and look, sit, stand back and look at it and go, that looks good. Um, I really enjoy the redstoning of this too. That's why I liked Feed the Beast was all the automation stuff. Um, not to say I am any master at it or even particularly good at it, but I enjoy tinkering with it and I will oftentimes think of some extravagant project should be time to sleep yeah uh, I will think of some extravagant project to do with redstone and um, I will sit there and fiddle with it for about oh at least a couple of hours fail get frustrated uh, take a little break from the game a couple couple hours later end up start thinking about it can't get it out of my mind until I solve it and then I can finish it. Um, sometimes this process takes, like I said, just a couple hours. Sometimes it takes days. So uh, the one that I remember specifically that took days was that castle that I keep mentioning. Um, I had a portcullis gate on the front, or in the front wall for the castle. And that thing took me about, I fiddled with it for about six hours the first day. Got frustrated left it 
um, that night when I was going to sleep. I kept thinking about it and what I could do the next day in class. Um, I am a college student, and so in class I was thinking about it um, over and over again until finally I thought of something that I might be able to do it. I came back and filled it, fiddled with it more for about two hours and finally got it working. Um, and so that's typically uh, the trial and trial and error process that I go through with Redstone. So I will ask your guys' patience when I work on things like that. Um, that because I don't necessarily understand everything. I will never say that I do. Um, but I am willing to try a lot of things. And I like to look at buildings and go, hmm, what can I add to that? Obviously, this is just a little ugly shack that I am building. Um, the dirt is there just for my help in building. I'll take that dirt down later. But I just kind of wanted it to resemble a little longhouse or um, little grovel or hovel, not grovel. Grovel's in action. Oops. Um, so that that's one of the things I'm using all this wheat for is I would like a thatch style roof to it as well as the wheat is going to feeding my cows which um, right now is probably going to be my main food source uh, I did a little bit of fishing that's one of the big things added let me close the door um, that's one of the big things that was added in 1.7 was the expansion to fishing um, so these are some of the things I've caught is salmon and uh, just normal fish as well as I have also caught uh, these shoes so you can catch all sorts of little trinkets and stuff in 1.7 which I'm a little bit excited for it's a little bit easier to fish now um, I hated fishing before so hopefully now I can do a little bit more. Um, let's see, in the previous episodes that I tried to record and failed at, uh, some of the things that I did was, one, kind of just get started and get this planted and talk and introduce myself. I tried to explore the jungle. Then there's a swamp to that side. So I wanted to see if there was a jungle temple or a witch's hut. Um, found some caves, went caving a little bit. But I still haven't done a whole lot. As you can see, I don't have gold. I don't have diamonds. I don't have lapis. Um, so we're still fairly well at the beginning of the, this game. Oh, there's nothing down there, really. There's a cave that we need to finish exploring, but no, but that's about it. Um, I also, also this where you can see the color difference. This is part of the jungle. I went through and cleared out all the trees and bushes and stuff. I'm not a big fan of the overgrowth in the jungles. Uh, they just get my way, so I typically stay out of jungles. Anyways, uh, the reason for looking exploring and looking for those things was well uh temple or yeah temples of either kind jungle or desert are always fun i like to explore them um and see what they have in them as well as dungeons and caves and stuff but the witch's hut in particular um i have plans or well my big project what i think i will need to help complete it a little bit quicker than what it would take just by hand um, is I would I need a witch's farm which I need a witch's hut for that an iron golem farm and then probably just a normal mob grinder of some sort um, and I have heard I haven't checked a whole lot with um, everything that this 1.7 has introduced because I kind of want to experience it a little bit as we go um, but I have heard that they have messed with um, mob farms and the way they work 
And so I don't know if they nerfed them or if they have made them better. I hope they have made them better and not nerfed them. Um, that'll be a sad day indeed. But uh, the, the plan that I eventually will try to do, as we can dig out those, um, my big plan is that I have tried on multiple servers but still haven't got accomplished yet is to build a dwarven style kingdom, city, what have you, um, underground. I, in past gaming experiences and in lores for different things, the dwarfs are my favorite race. Um, and so I've always wanted to build a dwarven stronghold. Um, and so I'll need a lot of lights, which from the witches farm hopefully I can get glowstone and redstone and stuff to make kind of cool lighting systems as well as a lot of TNT to blast out mountains um, I on the second multiplayer server that I played on I tried to do that by hand and I got maybe a third of the way through after about three weeks of playing and basically mining the whole thing or mining the whole time and you can ask my friends that played with me, I was on a lot. Um, and it takes a lot out of you when you have to mine that much by hand. Um, I probably had, oh, eight double chest fulls of cobblestone. Oh yeah, this is my little um, nighttime hunting perch. It keeps most things out. Um, and so that that's kind of what I want to do after we get sp spawn all situated and taken care of. Um, but I th I think this first episode will be a little bit shorter. Hopefully. I just kind of wanted to in introduce myself and what we are doing, and as we progress farther along, um, hopefully we'll get to know each other a little better. You guys, I, I really hope that this is enjoyable for you guys. Um, the main reason that I'm doing a Let's Play is because there are things that I think it will help me improve. Um, my speaking habits, my anxiety with... Uh, social social anxiety I have a little bit of um, and I t tend to kind of twist up my words or seem as though I was uh, speechless or not really paying attention uh, and that's that's not true it's just that's the way I get when I get a little nervous um, so uh, hopefully I can overcome those uh, that's one thing I want with this LP the other thing is I hope to be able to put out entertaining videos for you guys um, because if you get, if there's no one that will ever watch these or anything, well, that, that would suck, but I think hopefully I can get to the point where I enjoy doing it so much that it doesn't matter if I have just one person watching or a thousand, um, I'll still be putting out videos and, uh, the server will be around for a while. I have, uh, I'm actually um, renting, or yeah, rent, basically renting a server slot with the company uh, so that it frees up my PC to run the game and the recording software a little bit smoother at the same time so you guys don't notice too much um, lag or anything along that nature. But again, hopefully you guys will find these enjoying. Um, I know this is my first episode, so please be gentle and don't look down upon it too much. And so, with the setting sun, I bid you farewell and goodbye.